Welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos. As you can see, we made it out to Cletus and Cars, Houston. It is going to be an epic day. We've got Neighbor, Ruby, Mola, Jade has got his big Power Stroke diesel truck. We're all gonna be laying down some fat burnouts. I've got the car apart right now because I am bleeding the rear brake, or the re bleeding the front brakes. I uh, deleted the rear brakes off the car because uh, we're gonna be adding an H a hydraulic handbrake as soon as the car gets back, but I've got some great news for it. Okay, to answer a few comments from last time, yes, I am using the red key. I know better than that. Now, the supercharger has definitely lost its wine. I got in touch with a guy down in Fort Myers shop, Hellcat. He is going to rebuild the supercharger on it this week before drift night coming up in two weeks. We're also gonna do a smaller pulley, bigger injectors, a dyno tune. I'm super fired up. I gotta get a computer attached to the car today while I'm doing my burnouts because we're gonna get started doing some data logging, kinda see the health of the car, make some adjustments so that we can get as many miles as we can out of this Hellcat motor. Like I said, it's already got 175,000 on the clock. We really don't know how far it's gonna go. It's a pretty bone stock car. There's some minor things like a catch can, there's a short shifter, but after that with an exhaust, I, there's really nothing else that's been done to this car. It's quite amazing. So. Getting it ready for the burnouts today. I got a ton of spare wheels and tires that are off an old Dodge Charger police vehicle. And believe it or not, these steelies fit perfect without any wheel spacers to clear the uh, Brembo brakes back here. So although I said I deleted it, what I really did is that I just cut the brake line because I'm gonna be hanging or what, you know, doing the hydraulic brake line back to it for the handbrake. Lamola's buddy co-driver the winning team right here the winning team we're we're coming up with a strategy on how we're going to paint the car yep and who's going to drive first i was quite surprised by this but you said hey i've already raced a couple races if i want to go first i can because i was thinking i was like damn if if you go first there's no shot the car's going to make it until the second round unbelievable i know you go through your cars quickly uh, out there in the field only but... one race did i crash in the first 10 laps <laughs> and get last place but we're over that we're past that we're over we have a lot more experienced drivers out there. Nobody's gonna hit me like last time. We do. We should be fine. Brought the trunk out. Got, the trunk. You got, got any the, changes the, between this time and last time? Uh, I added oil. <laughs> Why, was it low? No, I just, I have to run extra oil in it. Dude, I was thinking so, we need to make a shirt that says, if it's leaking, it's got oil. Absolutely. I mean, that's pretty much goes for all the cars in the fleet out here. Pretty much goes, hey, 50% of the time, all these cars start 100% of the time. <laughs> they all at least need a jump box. Yeah, every car should come factory with the jump box. Yeah. Because I'm kind of getting tired of this where a car with jump box. If the battery is not at least seven years old, then it doesn't belong. Absolutely. Cool. Well, we're gonna get our car, or my car and his truck, we're gonna get some of our burnout wheels on them. You have to run steel wheels for the burnout contest. So my aluminum wheels, those aluminum wheels aren't gonna cut it. So we have to bring spares and then you also need to put your uh the tires you came with back on so that it's easier for them to get on and off the transporter so it's gonna be a great day out here the weather's pretty mild and uh people are already lining up at the gate to get in and the gate hasn't even opened yet so it's gonna be a great day guys we got kyle boost boy over here little want to warn you that this is like a short throw shifter that's a little jankety okay i'm so. really good at missing third gear already so <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go take it for a rip. Thanks for the warning there. Yep. Three. <laughs> See, that thing's a little janky. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, this thing gets it. I know for a stock car. I mean, the suspension's so soft; it does get a little sketchy yeah. quickly. So I'm thinking coilovers. Yeah, that sure. definitely help. This thing's gonna do a fat burnout out there. I know, I know. I hate to hit the wall, but you know, sometimes you gotta do it for the content. Sometimes you gotta send it, bro. What? <laughs> so we're doing some uh, test and tuning at Cletus and Cars. So I'm gonna send it down the quarter mile just to kind of get a base run before we start turning it up and doing bigger injectors and stuff like that. So right now I'm decreasing the tire pressure to get a little more traction off the line. These cars are pretty notorious for spinning the tires. So I'm gonna need every little bit of help I can get for traction. Okay, first time Hellcat's going down the strip. I'm thinking she's a little, little soft. So shooting for a 12, 11 would be great, 10 would be even better. But we're gonna give her the beans, got the tire pressure set. 
Gonna run her down and see what she can do. I think I'm going up next to Jamie, so that'll be a good time. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Is, it, is that a scaffolder? Are you doing scaffolding? Scaffolding right now. Scaffolding. Got a helicopter on the roof ready to go. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. yet because it, apparently you get it on an app on your phone. I don't know where Chad's going there. Okay, so I got my time. So I thought the second run was a little bit better than the first, but actually it was slower. And I'm thinking it's because the engine was a little bit heat soaked. So run number one, I ran a 11.9 at 120. So pretty decent for a you know, worn out car. I was, I was surprised. I thought it was for sure gonna be a 12 second car. And then my second run, I went 12.1 at the same mile an hour 120 but my 60 foot was a little bit slower even though the the first time i had traction control on just a little bit the second right. time you i really like you know so turn it off completely car, but i didn't have while. any traction issues Bottom because it's pretty warm out, out here and the, i got the tire Come super hot for the burnout but cool i think that's a great four, baseline uh, number for this yeah, car 12 good, seconds 11 four, nine at 120 miles an hour pretty happy with that i think that's what about what a hellcat should run so Good numbers. I'm actually going to use these as some qualifying passes for my NHRA license and uh, stop with the drag racing tonight because I do want to save the car and the clutch and everything like that for the burnouts. Yes. What are you doing? Well, changing the setup a little bit. You see, quarter mile I was running low tire pressure in the rear, high tire pressure up front. Now I'm running high tire pressure in the rear and low up front because two totally different kind of runs. You gotta think quarter mile, we wanna stay straight, get a lot of traction. Now I wanna have as much steering ability as I can, so I'm decreasing tire pressure up here to about mid to low 20s. Rear tire pressure is around high 40s. So hopefully we get a big old boom with those rear tire explosions. All right. Oh yeah. So right now I'm at 31, gonna keep going to about 25. I think it'd be good up here. I hope it's got a foil in.
So it doesn't look like it came from a head because these heads look pretty clean on both sides. So it's gotta be some kind of uh, pipe that came off or bust, bursted down below here on the passenger side because this is primarily where it's all coming from. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap for Cletus and Cars Houston. The car really performed today. It ran an 11.9 in the quarter, blew both tires in the burnout contest. This thing's getting some serious upgrades this week, all right? I'm talking injectors, dyno tune, everything from a shop in Florida. Wait till you guys see what's to come for this thing. It did blow a radiator or a coolant line, but hey, that's all right. We can build it back stronger. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. We'll see you later. Teeth the turbos, baby. Woo! Teeth the turbos. Yeah.